so let us have let us discuss on uh, practical issues with the multi shot amplifier so basically for the amplifier we gave around like 20 millivolts we gave it around 20 millivolts so let us simulate the same thing uh, over here we by giving 20 millivolts over here so this is around 10, 10 milli so 10 milli peak so around 20 millivolts if i give it over there um, So give it over there. If I do the simulation over here, so what happening here? So there is a distortion we can observe over here. The distortion we observe over here. So let us know why the distortion is coming here. So 10 millivolts. That is what your X signal. That is what X signal. So where that C amplifier with the gain of G1 for suppose. So G1 will make that X signal with the strength of a G1 times of X. So G1 times of X. So for the first transistor X may not be strong, uh, may not be, the work will not be heavy uh, because like the same C amplifier which we have already simulated with the X of around 20 millivolts is able to handle it and the handling capacity of the C amplifier up to 20 milliampere millivolts and he was active, he was active, right? But uh, when the x signal is becoming g1 times of x it is becoming very heavy so very heavy work is given to the transistor t2 so t2 will not be active so he will be going to the saturation so that's where the faithful signal which you are expecting this one we are not getting and we will be getting a, a distortion signal like this so there is a positive peak and negative peak is getting distorted so we have to overcome that so we have to overcome that. So we are trying to overcome that uh, by uh, by observing the three possibilities. They are observing three possibilities. First possibility is uh, this is the strength of the signal where I give it a strength of the signal, uh, strength of the signal which is going to the transistor T2. The strength of the signal need to be reduced. The strength of the signal need to be reduced. So that uh, the strength of the signal, once it is reduced, the work which is becoming very heavy, we have to reduce that work. So the transistor brought into the active region for again. So for that sake, I have to reduce the strength of this one. I have to reduce the strength of this one. The uh, strength of the, this one reduced. So for that sake, there will be possibility either like a X value need to be reduced or G1 value has to be reduced. There are two possibilities, either like a X value has to be reduced and a G1 value also has to be reduced. If I reduce the G1 value, automatically the strength will be reduced. X value if I reduce also, strength will be reduced. So first possibility will try, X value is reduced. X value is reduced, instead of giving like a 10 milli, if I give like around a 0 0.1 milli, 0 0.1 milli. So that was like a simulated in the uh, during up to now with the 0 0.1 milli it will be considered as a 200 micro and we have simulated with that and I have shown the simulation. Uh, so for that what happening here? So when I give like a very small signal of X so we can observe that uh, there will be a faithful signal at the output. So here at uh, first stage output and second stage output both are getting faithful. So once you give a very weak signal over here so that uh, the signal over here also will not be strong so that uh, the amplifier will be amplifying as it is when it is maintaining it in the active region. So, so here that X value is reduced automatically the transistor brought into the active region. This is what one solution. This is what one solution. Right. One solution. Right. But uh, this solution I cannot implement in the hardware because like uh, I cannot uh, generate, I cannot generate uh, this much weak signal from the function generator. What I do is instead of generating this weak signal, so I will be, I will be keeping strong signal itself, strong signal in the sense uh, 10 milli itself I will be keeping here. Right. If I do the simulation with the 10 milli, that was strong signal becoming very strong. It will make this transistor goes into the saturation. Right. So I will be keeping a strong signal, but I will be making a weak over here by some resistance here. So what I do is I will be keeping my resistor over here. 
so this resistor will re will be responsible to reduce the strength this res resistor will be responsible to uh, reduce the strength so here i will keep a resistor so that uh, this is like voltage divided network this is like attenuator will attenuate that some portion of the signal will be attenuated here and the remaining portion of the remaining part of the signal will be applied to this one right so this is how like i'll be doing the division over here i will be attenuating over here if i keep it like one kilo uh, so here if i observe that uh, uh, if i observe that uh, still i'm getting a distortion or not like observe let us observe still i'm getting a distortion still i'm getting a distortion right so this much resistance is not able to make the signal weak x value is not becoming weak so i have to increase that value it's up to 10 kilo if i keep it so 10 kilo ohm over here yes if i do it simulation once again if i observe it over here still it, i'm not getting a distortion still i'm not getting a faithful signal means the transistor still it is not uh, coming into the active region so this much uh, strong signal going into this one and becoming very strong and uh, this transistor still it is in the saturation right so i have to make it very weak very weak in the sense i have to keep this resistance value more uh, resistance value more 40 if i keep it 40 if i keep it so 40 if i keep it if i simulate it so i am getting a faithful signal so it's our responsibility we have to know what will be the source resistance to be connected over here source resistance to be connected over here so that uh, the transistor t1 and t2 coming into the active region to get a faithful signal this rs will be a very important component which you use it frequently in the multi stage amplifier so where i keep a where i keep a where i keep a a rs resistance over here so either like x value directly reduce or this is one possibility there will be another possibility reducing the x value by using source resistance source resistance resistance right we have to know the source resistance has to be increased it has to be increased so up to the level where i get a faithful signal from this one to this one the transistor should go into the active reason by increasing this resistance this is one possibility i follow where x value is reduced so that the strength is reduced so the transistor is brought into the active reason so that i will be getting a faithful signal so another case where i have a solution is g1 value has to be reduced so that g1 even though reduced the strength of the signal is reduced so the transistor is going into the active reason right so what i do is what i do is i will remove the resistor I'll be removing the resistor. I don't want to go with this method where I reduce the X value by reducing the input manually or reducing the X value by increasing the source resistance. I don't want to go with that both. So I'll be keeping like a 10 milli strong itself. And I will be keeping, a I will be removing the resistor also. I will be place my junction here. So I'll be connecting my input as it is. So if I observe it once again, I will be getting a distorted signal over here. So distorted signal over here. Distorted signal over here. So what I do is I have to reduce the G value so that the G1 into X is reduced. So by removing the bypass capacitor. I remove the bypass capacitor over here. I remove the bypass capacitor over here. So the gain of this amplifier will be reduced so that I can make sure that the amplified signal is not strong enough to like uh, throw away from the active reason so the transistor is not uh, like not uh, uh, thrown into the saturation reason still it is in maintaining in the active reason right because like g1 value is reduced so if i do the simulation once i can see that output is in the uh, output is faithful output is faithful Output is faithful, both uh, the signals at uh, this point and uh, signals at uh, this point. Signals at this point and this point, both are like faithful, means the transistor T1 and T2 are in a active region.